everyone. I'm Irene. I'm from the Foreign Trade Department of Shanghai Sino Steel. I'm very happy to meet you. Due to the current epidemic situation, many of our new and old customers are not able to come to our company for site visit. So we especially made this video to show you all appearance of our offices and factory to you guys so that you are able to have a comprehensive understanding of how we provide the products and services to our clients. Okay, let's start the journey of exploration with my camera. The first thing I want to introduce to you is the domestic business department of our company. I will mainly introduce the finance department and purchasing department. Now where we are is the purchasing department. The purchasing department is mainly responsible for purchasing the raw materials for production and integrating the supply chain. They know the situation of all kinds of domestic supplier inside out and are able to grasp the price market trends in time. So to ensure that using the lowest cost to purchase the raw material of best quality, and control the product quality from the source. Next, I will introduce the finance department. For all the income and expenses of the factory, from the payments of tens of millions to the gradient purchasing in the cafeteria, the finance department is indispensable. for. At the same time, it conducts financial risk control by rigorous work process to ensure the finance safety of the company. That is because the sufficient and safe funds are the foundation for the development of the company, which also the premise for us to provide a stable service to the customer. Now, I'm gonna introduce the foreign business department to you. Let's go. Unlike the domestic business department, the foreign business department is composed with many departments, including human resources, marketing, operation, international logistics, documentation, customer services, and so on. They all perform their duties and cooperate with our foreign trade with sales department to make, make the variety of needs of foreign customers. I will pick a few departments to make a brief introduction to you. The first is the marketing department. Let me introduce Ilya, the director of the marketing department. Ilya has been working in our company for 10 years. She is a senior and experienced in the steel industry and has been to more than 20 countries and regions of our customers. Below, she will introduce her job. Hi everyone, I'm Elia, nice to meet you. Our marketing department is mainly responsible for the research of foreign market. Every year we will visit the countries of some of our customers so we are able to have some insight into each market for their political and economic conditions, market demand, pain point of the customer, and etc. In one way, we are providing direction for the brand marketing of the company, and in another way, this is provide the most professional industry consulting and product service to our customers so that they are able to have a stronger competitiveness in their own market competition. Thank you, Elia. Bye. Let's go to the business department. Next is our business department that everyone is most familiar with. We have over 50 foreign trade sales in the department. They are very professional. More than half of them have over five years of foreign trade sales experience and they know the foreign trade process very well. Apart from this, our sales are proficient in English, Russian, German, Spanish, and so on. So they are able to guarantee the smooth communication with customers and know indeed what they need. So to make sure the accuracy of every detail in the communication, and achieving the business in a more smooth way. After the business department, 
department sign contracts with the customers. He uploaded it by the ERP system, and after the approval, the task will be transmitted to the production department. There, the production department will get to know all the requirements of the customers and arrange a proper time for the production of goods. During the production process, the professional quality inspection department will be checking the eligibility of the goods so to meet the standards of the customer. Next, we will take you into our production workshop. Here is how your order is transformed from a paper contract to an actual steel coil. So, let's go! First of all, wear your safety helmet. Make sure to be safe when you enter the workshop. Hi all, I'm now at the front door of our production workshop. Here you can see the slogan we hand out when the outbreak came. Sino Steel is together with you to fight against the epidemic. During the workshop, many enterprises have suspended their production. Now they have slowly resumed the production, but since there were too many orders, we did not completely suspend it during the outbreak. We have done a lot of protective measures when entering the production. We try our best to minimize the risk of transmission. So next, let's get into the workshop of Sino to have a look. Currently, our factory has two rolling miles to zinc plating production lines, while animized zinc plating production line to color coating production lines, three decoiler and tie press machines. All of them are distributed in different zones of the factory. Let's start with the warehouse of raw material. Here store a large number of raw material rolls. Every month, we will purchase about 50,000 tons of raw material rolls. We are always ready, so when customers place an order we are able to provide a fastest delivery time. Come, let's take a few steps to take a closer look at these raw material rows. You can see that every row is marked with size information. This one is 16 tons, and this one is 20 tons. The raw materials are from the state-owned large steel plants, the Anyang Airy and Steel Group, the HPI Ice Group, and the Guofeng cool iron and steel. The quality of the product is controlled from the source. With these raw materials, we are able to produce galvanized, color-coated rolls and other products for our customers. Next, let's go check out the production process of our main products, the galvanized rolls and color-coated rolls. The two zinc plating production lines was put into operation in 1990 and 1991 respectively, and upgraded and renewed in 2010 and 2015 for the equipment. Here, let's interview an operator on a production line. Chifu,请问咱们每天运转多长时间,每天产能是多少? 好的,谢谢师傅 As you can see, this production line is a new line that has just been put into production in 2018. It's using the most advanced color-coated equipment in China. And we have just equipped with environmental protection equipment in May, which is able to minimize the pollution to the links and to guarantee the stable protection capacity of the production lines increasing the production. Here is an operation console, which controls the whole operation of the color coating production line. Let's interview this master. What uh, is the main function of the operation? This operation the so it means that this operation console is core of the entire production line. And present, the production line uses automatic production with manual multi-quality inspections. 
so to ensure that customer's order can be delivered quickly, efficiently, and with quality and quantity. The company has passed the ISO 9001 quality certification system, the environmental management system, and accept the third part inspection of SGS, BV, QC, and others. It has established a complete set of quality assurance system. The workshop is equipped with a quality testing room to test the zinc layer, hardness, plating film thickness, T band, gloss, impact test, moisture resistance, and so on. Each part of the production must undergo the strict quality testing to ensure the production quality. Under the system of a set of quality inspections, there are complete procedures from ordering to production and delivery, and the overall is implemented under the ERP information management. After the goods are produced, and both the business department and customers agreed on the delivery time. And the logistic department will be notified to deliver to the corresponding port by car. We have our own dedicated packing and reinforcement team. There are corresponding reinforcement methods for steel coils, steel plates, and steel bells. After the transportation is arranged, the goods will be delivered safely and smoothly to the customers. After the customers receive the goods, if there are any problems with our products and services, besides docking with our business, there are also our customer service department. They are always waiting to serve you. Thank you.